Let's face it, it's hard to lose 10 pounds and it's even harder to keep it off. But since it's a new year, it doesn't have to be that way. In fact, we can lose the holiday 10 in one month to start your year right. Here's how, join the belly burn. Let's find out if you've been gaining or losing weight. If you're gaining, that means that you've been in a surplus, we have to make an adjustment. Midweek, we're gonna assess your hunger levels and then we're gonna make an adjustment to that. We do this over the next four weeks, set your calories lower, get you back into water and start your day off with the green drink. All right, first things first is that we need to get you into the belly burn because times are gonna get tough and we're gonna be there and never let you give up. And that's the key thing when it comes to nutrition is that we're gonna be faced with adversity and the coach is gonna be able to see the solution beyond your problem. And we're also gonna be able to give you guidance and make adjustments as need be because we know what happens when we take control of our nutrition is that we give ourselves too much slack or we fall off and it's so hard to get back on. So honestly, and I'm not trying to sell you anything, get a nutrition coach, get somebody to watch over you, hold you accountable, and it can't be somebody close to you because when it comes to nutrition, we all know that we get a little bitey when we get hungry and the last thing we need to do <laughs> is get bitey at our spouse when we get hungry. So you can bite at the coach and the coach will see beyond it and will be able to guide you down the right path. Now, we need to find out if you've been gaining or losing weight over the past 30 days. Now, the reason we do this is because if you've been gaining, then you've obviously been in a caloric surplus. It doesn't matter how healthy or clean you think that you've been eating. If you're gaining weight and if you're even eating all the right foods, it doesn't matter. It means that you've been in a caloric surplus. If you, if you gain weight, that means that you've been eating too much. It's that simple. So we don't wanna to go too aggressive with your caloric cut because of the fact that you're going to crumble. Think about it. If you were eating 2,500 calories or 3,000 calories every single day, and then I'm like, let's get you down to 1,000 calories because you need to lose 10 pounds in two weeks, that's gonna be such a gap between what you've actually been eating and what your body's used to versus what we expect of it, and you're gonna last for about three to five days and you're going to absolutely crumble. So the key here is to not only help you to lose those 10 pounds, but also create long-term success. So what we would do is we set you at a calorie that you can consume without actually being too stuffed, but we never want you to starve. And then we're gonna assess you by the middle of the week to see where your hungers are at. So if you're full, then we're able to cut some calories. If you're starving, then we need to increase. It doesn't matter what your goal is. We can't have you starving, but if you're okay, then we'll do a slight cut. And we'd have to do this over the next four weeks because a diet plan isn't just going to miraculously work unless I absolutely cut out all your calories, have you drink no water, and have you work out four times a day. It's not gonna see the results that we want. Now we will get you to 10, but it's gonna take at least three weeks before we start to notice any significant change. In fact, in the first week, you'll probably lose the most amount of weight just because we've cleaned everything up and your body is starting to flush. But the second week, you're gonna see no movement. Into the third week, on the later part of it, that's where you're gonna see more movement, but it's in that second or third week that most people get discouraged and wanna fall off. But I'm telling you that the light is there at the end of the tunnel, we just have to wait until that third and fourth week. We wanna set your calories low. Once we get to the point, we're able to cut those calories, but we want them high enough so that your stomach has more time to adapt and shrink. So if your stomach was used to this much volume of food over the past whatever 30 days and you've been gaining weight, we gotta make sure that we're giving the stomach something similar in volume, doesn't necessarily have to be calories, but we're gonna find something that's similar in volume and then we're going to allow it to adapt and let that stomach shrink because it gets less and less food so we're able to cut more calories and help you to drop those 10 pounds. Now we, what we wanna do is get you back into water because generally when we're gaining a lot of weight, we're gaining a lot of weight because we've been consuming a lot of calories and when you consume a lot of food, we're often not thirsty. Right? Go and see the next time that you go on a big meal, like how often are you drinking for water because you're thirsty? Probably never. But what you're doing is you're feeding yourself with more and more food when in fact you're probably just thirsty. So in order to get you back into consuming more water, 
will even try just flavoring it. And it doesn't matter if it's artificial or whatever. The FDA for now says that it's all good to drink like EAAs or anything that's the artificial sweeteners. So if we need to drink artificial sweeteners so that we can get you back into consuming more water, then so be it. Doesn't mean that it's gonna be forever. It could be just for your first two weeks so that we can help with your sugar cravings and also fill up that stomach without actually eating more calories. Now, the best start that I would tell you is to start your day with the greens drink. The G-R-E-E-A-N-S. It's a product that we sell at the gym and it's great to mix it with spinach, turmeric, cayenne pepper, and ginger, and it tastes absolutely fantastic. There's a ton of antioxidants in there, anti-inflammatories, and it's also a great way to get a bunch of greens in there, which is gonna fill up that stomach more, help you to feel fuller longer, and it's also help with the digestion process. Now, after you've done your greens drink, I would suggest that you drink some EAAs or more greens throughout the day, just to help keep your blood sugars balanced, to help you cut the cravings of sugar, and then also to keep your stomach fuller longer and help you to boost that muscle recovery. So I hope you found today's guide on dropping those stubborn 10 pounds insightful. Remember, it's not just about losing the weight, but creating sustainable habits for a healthier lifestyle. If you're ready to kickstart your fitness journey, I invite you to join our next Belly Burn Challenge. We know the journey can be tough, but with the right guidance and supportive coach, you can achieve your goals. So let's find out where you stand. Have you been gaining or losing weight over the past 30 days? If you're gaining, no worries. The first week will be a strategic adjustment to set you up on the right path without overwhelming you or ever making you feel like you're starving. Throughout the challenge, we'll assess your hunger levels midweek and end of the week. If you're full, we'll cut back. If you're starving, we'll make adjustments. If you're doing okay, we'll slightly do a cut but it's all about the personalized progression. Set your calories at a level that challenges you but gives your stomach time to adapt and shrink and don't forget the basics. Stay hydrated with water even if you flavor it. Kickstart your day with greens and keep your energy levels up with your EAAs to help balance out your blood sugars and cut the sugar craving. If you're ready to make a positive change, whether virtually or in person, reach out to us through our website www.fitclub.fit your journey starts now, and I'm here to guide you every step of the way. Join us. Let's make this year the healthiest one yet.